Right, here we have a projectile motion question. Uh, so, problem is Justin Beamer is thrown screaming from the top of a cliff, which is 122.5 metres tall, with a horizontal velocity of 10 metres per second. Off he goes. So, we want to figure out how long does it take him to reach the ground? What is the horizontal displacement? How far away from the cliff does he land? Um, so, we've drawn our diagram, as we normally do with these sorts of problems, and we've started to populate our SUVAT table. Now, his initial velocity, because he's being projected horizontally, his vertical velocity would be zero. He's not really started falling yet at the point he leaves the cliff. So, we're going to concentrate on uh, the vertical velocities and timings, because the first question is, how long does it take him to reach the ground? Question of time. So, this is a very useful equation for falling. And you'll notice that the initial velocity hor uh, vertically is zero. So the first expression there cancels. We'll then just run through the motions using a bit of algebra to rearrange everything, substituting our... Now we've got to figure out how far he travels away from the cliff. Now, the time taken to fall uh, vertically is exactly the same time it takes to fall horizontally, in this case, or as travel horizontally, I should say. So it will still be 5 seconds. Uh, from then, it's simply a matter of velocity times time. And finally, we have to figure out the resultant velocity upon impact. And we've got everything we've learned so far here in our SUVAT table. Now, velocity is a vector quantity, therefore it has magnitude and direction. So we're going to need to figure out what velocity he hits at and the angle. So, we've already got his horizontal velocity. But in order to figure out the component there, the resultant component, we're going to also need to have the vertical velocity. So, we're going to use this equation here, chuck in what values I've got, and this will give me an answer of 49.05 metres per second. That's pretty speedy and unfortunate for Justin. Uh, now we've got to figure out the angle and the magnitude. So, using a bit of Pythagoras, we're going to chuck the values we have in so far there, and that will give us a resultant velocity of 50.01 metres per second. And uh, then using a little bit of trigonometry, figure out the angle, uh, which will be 78.48 degrees.